I'll show you how the Chromebook as of January 2021 does not support uh, Team Viewer fully um, or Team Viewer the remoting the remote desktop software does not support Chromebook fully uh, what I mean by that is that from a Chromebook you cannot receive support from another computer so uh, the way uh, I found out is that you know it doesn't provide you with that ID the user ID as you can see on the screen when you pull up when you bring up team viewer uh, after downloading downloading it into the uh, Chromebook app into your Chromebook from the App Store from the uh, Chrome web store you the uh, team viewer does not provide you with an ID so another computer cannot uh, provide you support or another technician from a remote area cannot provide support uh, to you using TeamViewer. Uh, as you can see, uh, from a Windows, when you bring up TeamViewer, it does provide you with your ID and password for you to give to whoever else is going to give you support from another computer. Uh, that is not the case with a Chromebook. Uh, I will test this out to see how you can provide support from a Chromebook to a Windows computer. So I'm typing in the ID from the Windows computer. And then, of course, you got to put in the password. So once you log on with your ID and password, with the Windows computer ID and password, you are connected to that Windows computer from your Chromebook. So you can provide support from a Chromebook via TeamViewer to a Windows PC, laptop, or whatever it is. I'm guessing you can also provide support to any other computer, like another, uh, like a Apple computer or in Linux for that matter but however you cannot as far as I know you cannot receive support from another computer via team viewer I'm not sure why team viewer uh, would not support the Chromebook uh, lap uh, laptop or the uh, Chromebook operating system the Chrome operating system, but uh, for some reason, as of right now, uh, I do not know that they do. So, uh, just to show you, even though you sign in with your email, email username, uh, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, I'm already signed in, as you can see here in a little bit. You have to add uh, the computer that you sign in, in this case your Chromebook, to your added, uh, to your trusted device. Do that through email, so uh, the device has been successfully added. Uh, you log in, and you know you are logged in all the way. This is the full uh, app for your Chrome. However, it doesn't provide you with an ID and password. It uh, doesn't matter where I go, what I do. Uh, it seems to be the same situation. So this is the app on your Chromebook. doesn't matter where I go look for that user ID and password. I cannot find it. The minute that uh, the app is on the Windows computer, you can see it right up front, clear. This is the management console. This is on the Chromebook. No ID, no password. Not sure what's going on with that. I uh, tried to get with a uh, team viewer about it, and they keep asking subscri subscription. They want me to be a paid customer before they can give me some support. There's no number for them to call. 
I mean, the Team Viewer, it's supposed to be a big software, widely used, yet they their support is very, very uh, mediocre. Uh, not a big fan of them right this moment. Uh, an alternative, as I can show you here, to Team Viewer using a Chromebook is uh, the Chrome des uh, Remote Desktop. Chrome Remote Desktop, you can get it from the Chrome Web Store as you can see. You can, uh, I've already downloaded it and it's very easy. You can receive and give support. Uh, just uh, bring it up once you download it. Uh, you can also download it and install it in a Windows PC as you can see using Google Chrome, of course, and you can have it as an app, launch it in your Windows PC using Chrome, get the same app as you do in your Chromebook, where you can give and get support both, no problem, no problem at all. Uh, and I can show you exactly how it works. If you want to give support from a Windows PC, as you can see here, uh, to a Chromebook, uh, we'll see how that is done. You click on, if you want to receive support, you click on uh, support, get support and generate code. There's your code. It does have an expiration time and that code will be given to your Windows user. Give support. Type the code generated by the Chromebook on your Windows PC. Remember, remember this is to give support from the Windows PC to the Chromebook, which is not uh, a possibility in Team Viewer. It is, however, a possibility here with Chrome Remote Desktop, the app. This is the Windows PC. So it is now connecting. You have to accept the connection if you're the uh, support recipient. You share to share your screen. Of course, that is a security feature on Chrome OS and now the Windows PC is uh, remotely able to see and control the Chromebook.